Musician Ashanti still shows love for longtime friend Diddy amidst his legal battles and industry friends snitching on him. Despite the legal troubles and industry friends snitching on Diddy, Ashanti has continued to show her support for her longtime friend. In a recent interview with Entertainment Tonight, Ashanti spoke about Diddy's legal battles, saying, I love him. I support him. I'm always going to be there for him. Ashanti went on to say that she believes Diddy will overcome his legal troubles, saying, He's a strong person. He's a fighter. He's a survivor. He's been through so much in his life, and he's always come out on top. Despite the backlash, Ashanti even posted a happy birthday celebrating Diddy, creaming happy birthday to the king of the remix. Love bro, thank you for everything, and being such an integral part of our culture forever mood. Again, Ashanti further went to law Diddy after landing a collabo with Diddy posting, I'm finished with it, she can have yay lil. Gotta move on remix streaming everywhere now. Recently, Diddy has been facing legal troubles and industry friends snitching on him. Despite this, Ashanti has continued to show her support for her longtime friend, even as others in the industry have turned their backs on him. Now, Ashanti and Diddy first met in the early 2000s, when Ashanti was signed to Diddy's record label, Bad Boy Records. The two quickly became friends and collaborators, with Diddy producing several of Ashanti's hit songs and appearing in her music videos. Over the years, Ashanti and Diddy have maintained a close friendship, with Ashanti often referring to Diddy as her big brother. In a 2019 interview with The Breakfast Club, Ashanti spoke about her relationship with Diddy, saying, He's always been there for me. He's always been a great friend, a great mentor, a great big brother. Diddy has been facing legal troubles in recent years, including a lawsuit over the death of Kim Porter, the mother of three of his children. Porter died in 2018 from low bar pneumonia, and her family has filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Diddy, alleging that he was negligent in his care for Porter. In addition to the lawsuit, Diddy has also been under investigation by the FBI for alleged illegal gambling and money laundering activities. In March 2021, federal agents raided Diddy's homes in Los Angeles and New York, seizing computers, phones, and other electronic devices. As Diddy faces legal troubles, some of his industry friends have reportedly turned on him, snitching to authorities about his alleged illegal activities. According to reports, one of Diddy's associates, a man named James Rosemond, has been cooperating with authorities and providing information about Diddy's alleged involvement in illegal gambling and money laundering. Other industry friends, including rapper 50 Cent, have also spoken out against Diddy, accusing him of being a snitch himself. In a 2020 Instagram post, 50 Cent posted a picture of Diddy with the caption, This in, I told on everybody. That's right, really? You know what I'm saying? It's Homeland Security What's investigation. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let, okay, Mark, so, let Mark break so, it down. So, let Mark break so, it down. <laughs> so, so what would lead... So Homeland Security investigations could lead to a raid on Diddy's homes if the investigation involves matters related to Homeland Security, which is, you know, national security, such as potential threats to national security, which is, this is probably not, human trafficking, drug smuggling, or financial crimes with international implications. So they focus on a wide range of a cross-border criminal activity, but it involves like international shit. And they're responsible for that. So when I went, when I saw that it was an FBI related, when I looked at Homeland Security, I'm like, oh shit. Diddy's bringing in people from Brazil. He's bringing in little girls from Brazil. I mean, like literally like, I thought of that. I'm like, blood, like you, you were such a fucking bitch. Like seriously, I, I thought, I thought about stuff like that. Like this is like, this is not national security, but it's saying that whomever Diddy is involved with or whoever is in that household is involved in human trafficking and financial crimes with international implications. Simply put, HSI is involved in this investigation because it involves human trafficking and or financial crimes with international implications, meaning it could be human trafficking. Rosenberg, I think you had a problem with me saying sex trafficking. Human trafficking. Like let's 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 call it Rosenberg is what? Um and then wire fraud. So this is huge. And it's gonna lead to significant jail time for the people that are involved. They they already got it. The indictments already happened. This is like getting the evidence. This is not like like, like uh, Nelson, like you talked about when you first started the space. When oh, somebody said SDNY, when they got you, they got you. Ninety-eight percent, man. Ninety-eight percent. 
And just to add to that, Mark, narcotic smuggling, financial crimes, child exploitation, transnational gangs, identity and benefit fraud, cyber crimes, IP theft and trade fraud, human trafficking, human smuggling, technology pro proliferation, and national security threats. They've seized $3.9 billion in currency and assets illegally uh, <laughs> since inception. I mean, these are people you don't want knocking on your door. Uh, so there's going to be major problems. I think now what you see is just jockeying for 5K1 letters and cooperation agreements. I think Diddy, I don't know, man, that, that he's connected to people a lot larger than him. And I think that we're potentially going to see an Epstein uh, status with him. I don't know what else would happen because this, this is huge. I mean, guys, and they, were, and they were in tactical, they were in tactical gear. When they yeah, they they they, they rolled location. up with automatic weapons. I mean, you got Quincy Combs, Justin Combs, his kids handcuffed. You got automatic weapons in front. I'm like, dude, what the hell is going? I, wow. No, they this don't is play crazy. games, bro. They don't play games. They come with the ballistic shields. It's no joke. And and those task forces are usually devised of seasoned operators and detectives in the respective districts. So they'll borrow specific agents from agencies. They'll have them on loan, and then they'll also have like direct agents that will they will that will come in from like you know military operations as well. These guys are no joke, man. Man, absolutely crazy, What's bro. Up, Nelson? Absolutely crazy. What's up, Jeremy? How you doing? You know, I signed a bad boy for like ten years, right? Yeah, I mean, shit, bro. You uh, tell me. You tell me, right? I was my what? mentor. No bullshit. I mean, no but bullshit. did you see? I mean, you you've been to some of those parties. I'm guessing over the years, right? Yo, here's really what I'm actually going to say about the whole situation. Let's talk about it. Puff is Puff, Puff is a guy who likes power, right? That's just what it is. And he could have avoided all of this shit, all of it, if he would have just given Cassie what she wanted in the very beginning, which was her freedom, right? Cassie knew where every single body was buried. She's been with him for 22 years. She knows every single fucking thing he's done to a T. And everybody bet Quincy, King, all of them. Yo, give her what she want. It was too late. All she wanted was her freedom, her publishing, her jump back. No, 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 you're, you're, you're wrong. Really? Um, it was about Kim. No, Porter. it's not, bro. What are you talking about? You know, bro, yeah, I've known this family yeah, for fucking yeah, 25 years. What are you talking about, bro? Well, you know. Well, I went to high school with Shakira that, Stewart. That, 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 so you're talking about? Listen, bro. Plain and simple. You know she bro, do, you, do you know Shakira? Bro, I, I don't give a fuck about Shakira. My best friend was literally Ron Ron he, he Burkle. Was, that he, was, he was the he was the he was the, he was the vice president of Def Jam. You don't know you don't bro, give don't a fuck care about, about Shakira Stewart. I don't care about Shakira Stewart, bro. That's Def Jam from back in 2000, bro. The only people that know anything about this, he was dating Kim bro. Porter, and they both bro. died. Only thing that he's been talking about this shit is all that knows anything is Harv Pierre, Skid, Cassie, Big D, any of these people who are around consistently. You don't know what you're talking about. You're going in, Cassie, you're going down, you're going actually, down conspiracy uh, Cassie, actually, field, dog. Well, you know, I'm 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 not going down. Uh, Cassie actually talked about Kim Porter. You, did you read her her yeah. complaint? So you, like what I you're did? trying to say is that Puff had Cassie had. No, did you read it? Did you read her? Did you read her yes, complaint? I did read her complaint. And Puff was had a lot of shit so going you, on. With so you so, mom. so you heard her talk about Kim Porter. Of right? course, of course. Okay, this has and nothing heard, to do with Kim Porter. Kim, and you had her talk. Well, this, this you're right. This, you're going down conspiracy that Puff had fucking Kim killed, which is crazy. But you're 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 trying to claim personal knowledge, and you don't even know Kim Porter or Shakira Stewart. Bro, like you're so talking about your a step. His, his fucking first, what are you talking about? Like, bro, you, like I, Kim I, Porter, I, this, has, this is like one of my best that, friends. That, that, doesn't, like he that doesn't matter. Yo, have you ever been to the mansion? Have you ever been to Star Lounge to his house? Have you ever been to the fucking 60th floor penthouse? No, I'm not a, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fanboy. I'm not a fanboy, dude. Random shit my best friend was Shakira. One second, gentlemen. One gentleman, gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. And he was dating bro. Real quick, gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. <laughs> now, this argument isn't helping, right? So the other one was good. But let, let's, let, let Jeremy say what he's trying to say, and I'll toss you to Mike Mark, and you can jump in and give your perspective. But don't 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 cut Jeremy off and vice versa. Let, let's 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 hear it. Let's hear the information. Jeremy, go ahead, brother. Unmute. Jeremy, unmute, unmute, unmute. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry about that. 
There are 10 bazillion motherfuckers probably on stage who are going to talk about how they know somebody who knows somebody who knows a guy, right? That's all bullshit. There are a total of maybe five to 10 people around his crew from Corey to Big D to Harpier, not even really Harpier because Harp's been out for a while, Skid, all this type of shit that are going down, right? Black and white, Puff has been doing some wild shit for a long fucking time. I don't, I'm not going to get into that. My mentor is named Alex Avant. His dad is Clarence Avant, who literally, Puff, he's like, they call him the black godfather, okay? Puff could have resolved this shit if he wanted to. He didn't give Cassie her shit back because she left him, and she just was like, you know what, fuck it. And she set a fucking fire to the building, and everybody knows when one jumps out and says me... Other people say I, and that's what happened. And then somebody came out with some real shit that fucking hammered him. But everything started with Cassie, 100%. It doesn't matter what rumors have been going around for Puff, gay, for 10 years, whatever the fuck. Everybody knows it in this room, whatever. What I'm saying is that this shit started with Cassie. That's it. And uh, I doubt this motherfucker's ever coming back to the country again, because I think the place he just landed, they don't extradite. He's oh, in Miami, Miami, bro. Not, not he's even. Miami. He's in he's in Miami. Well, Miami. But that was, that was a video. That was a video of him leaving Miami. No, I, well, I mean, <laughs> may, maybe, maybe, right? But um, I definitely appreciate you, Jeremy, jumping. One hundred percent. I mean, you've got you little have. Yeah, Greg, you know all this Twitter news, man. I, I I have to wait till like other sources verify. But you've got like you know a bunch of Twitter pages right now saying, and breaking, breaking, Sean Diddy Combs has been arrested in Miami, Florida. It's got like a million views on one tweet, half a million on another. But like, I, it's, it's, it's back, Twitter. But that it's Twitter got on black jet. He got on that black jet, which is not even his. It's Ron Burkle's, just to be so so everybody knows. If y'all really want to know, pay attention to Ron motherfucking Burke or PD. There you go. Snip that shit out. Nelson, didn't TMZ break that he was in Miami, though? Dude, Ron, Ron yeah, yeah, Burke yeah. or Ron Bar- Burke was probably worth $12 billion. He's a huge... Yeah, of course okay. he is. Okay. But, that's, look, look, but, Ron, look, look, but Ron Burke is the one who funded every single one of Pup's projects. He's his best friend, his mentor, his liaison. And Ron Burke, I'm not going to go into detail, but just do your research on Ron Burke. Hey, Jeremy, 